The continuation war has begun, and our ragtag forces are ready to conduct operations against the Soviet Union. Ahead, the enemy controls a series of small hamlets. Our forces, consist of only light infantry, are to move up and seize the enemy positions. Counterattacks are expected, and Soviet light armor is anticipated. To deal with the enemy armor, we must make the most of our AT guns and capture any Soviet equipment that may aid in the destruction of the enemy. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to Gates of Hell Ost Front. This is a World War II RTS game that I have been playing a ton of recently, and I figured it was about time I started a series. We will be playing the dynamic campaign as Finland, fighting against the USSR in the Continuation War. I will show off the dynamic campaign and its mechanics at the end of the video as we adjust our forces and pick our next battle. Anyway, let's get into our first battle and show off some gameplay. I hope you all enjoy. Our forces are staged and are ready to advance on the enemy positions. They are pretty much directly to the northwest and it looks like the Soviets are bringing in a lot of reinforcements. That's what these arrows indicate. Our first objective is in the middle of this town. We have a lot of infantry to deal with these targets. However, we are lacking in armor at the moment. I have one squad of riflemen. We have this 20 millimeter cannon, which hopefully will be able to take care of any of the Soviet light armor we will be going up against. We also have this 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. Over to the left, we do have a AT team. They have a boys anti-tank rifle and we have a mortar. Hopefully that'll be enough to take care of the Soviets. We will see though, this is going to be an interesting fight, that is for sure. I obviously have two medics here as well. Let's begin rolling up to the town. It looks like my guys have to cross this river here. I'd like to get the AT rifle set up here, the 20 millimeter cannons set up in the center here. Bring up each squad, medics, AT. We have a supply crate here, and then the mortars are going to prove to be quite useful. This one mortar team. Unfortunately, we are not very mechanized at the moment, so my men are huffing it on foot, and it'll take a little while to get up there. I do want one medic to be in each squad here. There we go. Perfect. All right, my forces are going to push up on the objective and hopefully we will be able to capture each of these relatively easily. Our biggest problem is going to be Soviet armor. My forces are advancing nicely. Oh boy. Oh boy, we have a machine gun there. The DP-27, we've already lost a man. All right, get down please. Lay down, my AT team's moving out. Come on, get them. Grenades out. There we go. Get them. All right, we have a tense standoff here. Stand up, we've lost a single guy. All right, push them. We have someone else over on the right as well. Mortars are engaging. Okay. Let's check over on the right. Let's move up. I think we have, yeah, this guy is unfortunately dead. And we have one guy wounded. What, I, w I want this motorcycle though. I'll send one guy out. One rifleman, two riflemen. Get up there. Take this. We want that machine gun. All right, boys. Time to spread out. Mortars are engaging sporadic Soviet resistance in the town. All right, set up the machine gun there, please. All right, move up. Spread out. Move our guns up properly. Mortar's looking good. Where's our 20 mil? Okay, they're slowly rolling it up. 
perfect. Pivot this way. I can actually, actually get off of the motorcycle. I don't want you on the motorcycle. I can have them take the DP machine gun off of this. There we go. Congratulations on your field promotion. All right, we now have another machine gunner. Get up there. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of cover in this area. Move this AT gun up. We're slowly going to advance. Bring this up as well. Mortars, I want my mortars to target this area, please. We're gonna have to move them up. They are slightly out of range. Move the mortars up. All right, looking good. Looking good, medic. Come here, help this guy in the middle of the road who is down, set up that 20 millimeter cannon right here. That's good enough. Please open fire. There we go. All right, let's move him up a little bit so he can peek around this fence and start suppressing nicely. There we go, that should be good. Oh my gosh, that is way more brutal than I anticipated. That is beautiful, okay. All right, move this AT gun up and around. That should be more than capable of dealing with any Soviet light armor. We have an artillery piece over on the left. Can my mortars hit that? Yes, please hit that. Please and thank you. We have our supply crate here beating my mortars ammunition. That being said, the mortars need to push up to get hits on that artillery gun, which is proving to be quite dangerous. Okay, back up. Move our 20 millimeter cannon back. AT guns engaging the enemy gun. Okay, set up here. Hit that. I think it may just be out of range. All right, keep moving up. This is risky. All right, guys. Hold. Okay, now set up. Target that area. There you go, you're in range now. We'll start hitting that area. Mortar's pretty rapid fire. All right, guys, time to move up. Let's move the squad up, advance. All right, saturating that area. Move the squad out. Spread out over here. Please and thank you. All right, this objective is ours. Mortar, hold fire. You can stop. Let's move up slightly. Okay, never mind. Hit that. Engage, engage, engage. 20 millimeter cannon, come up. Move into the point. All of you, go get them. What is this? Yeah, it's just a fixed MG gun. It's like, is this referring? No, that's a motorcycle. I don't care about that. Please return fire. Open fire. Fire at well. Hit that area. Oh boy, that was the motorcycle, I believe. No, that was our 20 millimeter cannon, unfortunately. It's now gone. I have no idea what hit it. And it looks like there is a, yeah, there's a gun over here. Mortars, hit that. Please and thank you. We have capped. Mortars proving quite useful. We can also capture these two artillery pieces. There we go, blew those guys off of the, looks like a 76 millimeter. Okay, where's my medic? Both are all my medics dead. That might actually be the case here. It does look like that, it, no, we have one here. I'm gonna send that medic out to pick these guys up. Unfortunately, the infantry I'm using right now is not the best, so. Uh, some of them are going to die, and that is a price I'm going to have to pay. Okay. First things first. One guy, come here. Take that machine gun. 
And then I want a Rifleman, the 76 millimeter cannon is uh, quite appealing. Send two guys over there to take it. And then I do want this DS-39 as well, I think. So two more Riflemen are going to come and grab that. So one thing we can do is pretty much loot all of this equipment and take it for ourselves. And it will carry over in the next mission if we wanted it to, which is pretty cool. I am enjoying the dynamic campaign in, uh, in this game. It is quite fun. Both of my medics are alive. That's good to know. We do have another field gun over on the left. I don't know if I need two currently. We do need some infantry. Let's repair this. Let's repair this gun. It looks like it has some damage. Those guys are going to start working on it and doing some maintenance. All right, get off of this. No, 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 no. Inspect it. There we go. Get rid of your Mosin. Get rid of that fuel and take a bunch of magazines for that DP-27. There we go. We have another machine gunner. Perfect. We are going to do some reorganization before pushing on the next objective. I'm going to take as many of these field guns as I can. We have an enemy counterattack coming. We have this DS-39 equipped. We're moving infantry to deal with it. I'm going to let my mortar go ahead and fire at will. Please and thank you. Yeah, it looks like we have a few of them in the field. They are quickly being dispatched. They did pop some smoke up here, but... Okay, overall, I think we are clear to begin moving out. So let's start moving the squad up. Let's move this gun up as well. Move up our machine gun. We have captured quite a bit of equipment. And playing as the Fens, this is going to be our general procedure. Capturing as much equipment as possible, especially at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to have them hold fire. Continue to equip. Let's start moving up slowly. Move up to this next farmhouse, please. All of you guys move up here. And it's time to advance on the second objective. Let's pack my mortars up. I'm also just going to drop the supply crate now. And you guys are going to combine with that squad. Why not? All right. Get up there. More men. Better. Let's move our mortars up and begin our final push. We did take this 76 millimeter field gun as well. Let's roll it up. Here, you want to help them push that? I'm sure they would appreciate that. Okay, we have something that looks, uh, it may hurt a little bit up there. Okay, bring this AT gun up. Thankfully, we haven't encountered any Soviet armor just yet. I think we've been kind of lucky in that regard. Our forces are in a good position to begin the final assault. We have one field gun that needs to be rolled up, but we are going to go ahead and advance. Mortars can stay there. All right, guys. Move in to... Yeah, move into this area, please. And we're going to spread you all out like so. Begin the advance. Where's my machine gun? Bring it up. Bring up the AT gun as well. Move, move, move. Unfortunately, oh, we do have smokes. That is good. Okay, resistance seems pretty light at the moment. Mortar, go ahead and come up. Set up in this little yard. Okay, engaging enemy defenders. Yeah, we have some stuff inside this fortification. AT guns opening up. One pretty cool thing is in this game, you can take direct control over units. And they do have optics, which is pretty nifty as well. So we are just going to fire into that house. Although I can barely see it. Let's see if... Uh, we caused some damage there. All right, MG, move up. Move up, mortars. This is the final push. Fire at will. Not that I'm not... There's not a whole lot in here. This is a pretty easy fight. We were lucky there was no Soviet armor. 
All right, move in. Good work. House is gone. We have some defenders back here. Move in. Yeah, okay. Come on. Close quarters. That guy has a flamethrower. Get him. Okay, good. <laughs> move in. All right, go to work. Lower that flag. The next objective is ours, and that is a victory. We were lucky. Generally, when I've played this, there has been a lot of Soviet light armor that we are put up against, but uh, this time, we didn't have to deal with any of that, which is kind of unfortunate, but I will show off the tech tree and progression in the dynamic campaign next, and uh, we should be able to get some armor for ourselves in the next battle. So how this works is you go through and you fight a series of randomly generated battles. You pretty much build your armies and you also get to pick where you fight next. I am doing the small campaign, so we don't have too many options and it'll be over rather quickly. But the larger campaigns can go on for quite a while and you can get some pretty awesome equipment. Here we go. That is victory. Let's close the battle and we can see our team obviously won. We killed 45 enemy infantry, and how many did we lose? Oh. And looking here, it looks like the Soviets only managed to kill... No, seven in total there. So, yeah, we did not lose very many men at all. Uh, very cool. Okay, and then we'll exit, and we will see the dynamic campaign Here we screen. are in the campaign screen. And as you can see, all of the equipment that we captured in the previous battle we now have. I did resupply all of them, so we have men manning these guns if we wanted to take them in our waves, which we have here. This is our army that we were using. And one thing I do want to go in and grab is another one of these 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, it was pretty good. So, like you see, I can just grab it and put it into our second wave. Over on the right, we have our manpower, so we have 34 out of 60. Each unit costs manpower, and uh, we can take whatever we want as long as it's below 60. So, let's grab a DS-39. I think having a machine gun would be nice. And then also one of these field guns. I think the uh, 19... 76 millimeter M1927 seems like a good purchase and that gets us to 48 out of 50 manpower and over here we're 42 out of 60. I might mess around with this. This AT detachment uh, with this boys AT rifle, I don't think they're very good. Uh, so we may replace them with something new. Additionally, after each round, we do get some research points, which I have already spent down here everything costs research points which allow you to progress further in these tech trees the fins have a nice mixture of soviet and german equipment i went ahead and moved down this line and got the ba10 armored car i think this will be useful for punching through uh defenses and such and the next mission i do believe we will be defending so i probably will not take it that time but whenever we move to the attack, the BA-10 seems like a good idea. Also, moving down the tank line, I do want to get the Vickers 6 ton. Uh, we start off with the FT-17, which you may know is a French World War I era tank. The FT-17 here has a 37mm cannon, which is okay, but the Vickers 6 ton all around is a pretty, pretty good early war tank. So that's what I want to strive for. As we move down the line, we can get the Stug, the Panzer IV, and the T-3485 even. So, that is pretty nifty. But what sort of equipment would you like to see as we progress forward? Uh, there is quite a bit to choose from. We won't make it too far because I did choose the small campaign size. So there aren't too many battles. And showing off the campaign screen, let's select our mission. And here is the strategic map. We will be defending in the next mission, and you can see it kind of reminds me of a roguelike, sort of like faster than light. You move to each point until you get to the enemy HQ and you fight a series of battles on each point. So here we will be defending next, and then we can push up and choose where we want to fight next here. Like I said, I did do the small campaign just because I wanted this to be a limited series, really just a test and see how you guys enjoyed it. 
I've been really having a blast with this game, streaming it a ton on Twitch, so go check that out if you are interested. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this develops, and I hope you all enjoy it as well. Anyway, folks, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, especially on the first episode of a new series. It really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.